football pool, Captain. Crack that wallet. Coming up. Daryl? I don't think so, Kenny. Huh? I can't just throw money away. I got a baby now. Besides, I never win. That's what makes you an essential cog in the machine. Now come on, pony up! No, I need this money for Zoe's college fund. Hmm. You sound like Phil in operations. He was a family man, too. Didn't play the baseball pool. Said he was saving for his kid's braces. Or maybe it was his insulin. Anyway, whatever happened to old Phil? Selling candy in the lobby, isn't he? Okay, fine. One square. Money well spent. Next item, Walcott's birthday. Stripper fund! Okay, Zoe, this is a tacky haircut. Those aren't real. And, oh, these people adopted a baby, but it was a publicity move to cover up the fact that they're both gay. <laughs> yes, they are. Yes, they are gay. That's right. Mommy's home. Oh, hi, Mrs. Mac. How was your me time? Great. Did you eat this whole bag of cookies? Yeah. I don't know why I bother. I mean, no matter how much I eat, I just can't seem to put on any weight. How horrible for you. Hello, Busy. Hey, there's my favorite guy in the whole world. Well, that's a greeting. <laughs> Come here and lick my face. Huh? How are you, Charlie? How's my little huggy buggy? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, Mr. Mac, I didn't see you. You know, I think it just might be time for your shots. Huh? Oh, Daryl, I know money's tight, but it means so much to me to have Busy's help. Glad we can afford it, honey. Just those couple of hours a day keep me from going stir-crazy. Well, it's not my way to brag, but I do take a quiet pride in the comfortable life I've carved out for my family. Ken Griffey Jr. No, I want to be Ken Griffey Jr. Saints preserve us. Biggest friggin' TV I ever saw. Maybe that's because it's the biggest one ever made. Does it have picture in picture? <laughs> this baby has picture in picture in picture. It's like looking into the face of God. Amen. Oh. Oh. Carl, what's this all about? Oh, just a little impulse purchase to celebrate my new position. New position? My husband is the head groundskeeper for our local Major League Baseball team. Yeah, I've been getting calls all day from the other sprinkler guys. It's big news when one of us makes the show. Carl, that's wonderful. Don't you think having the TV flown in is a bit much? Daryl, if Steve Wynn thought that way, Las Vegas wouldn't have an exploding volcano. Hey, laughing boy. You see this 50? Don't scratch the goods, I'll give you the other half. Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> I never noticed how attractive Carl is. What he sees, he wants. What he wants, he takes. Forget Ted Griffey Jr. I want to be Carl Bitterman. <laughs> He's my dad. Hey! Why don't you go pretend to be a dumbass heart surgeon like your dad? What did you... <laughs> It's Daryl, right? We met at the high school prom. Isn't it great about Carl's new job? Yeah, great. We're so happy these days. It's nice to see other people happy, too. Mm. Hello, everybody. I'm Bob Costas, and I hope you're watching tonight's game in color because I have never seen a ball field in better condition. Kudos to new groundskeeper Carl Bitterman. He's mowing his way to Cooperstown. This is my favorite program. Baseball? No, I'm watching Buffy on Carl's TV. You are like so undead. <laughs> and it's a routine pop-up to short. Salazar squeezes it for the out. Come on! 
on, come on, run it out! What's the matter, your wallet weighing you down? Daryl, I'm trying to get Zoe to sleep. Oh, sorry. I'm in the office pool. See, you buy a square, and then the numbers 0 to 9 are randomly ascribed to each side of the grid. And the winner is the person whose square's coordinates match the final score. <laughs> that did it. So what numbers did you get? 5-5. Five, five. I didn't know they had ties in baseball. No, they don't. The final score would have to be 15 to 5. That doesn't seem very likely. It's not the worst square. It's not 9-9. Nine, nine. All I meant was Why that... Why don't you just say it, Wanda? I'm a loser. I can't cut it man-wise. And it's fitting that I have a wee little TV because I'm a wee little man. Are you jealous because Carl has a much, much bigger TV? What? No. I've got a beautiful wife and daughter. What do I care about material things? Okay. I'm as happy and contented as a cow. Fine. So what's the score? Huh? Carl, you're putting in an ornamental gate? Yeah, I bought it off Charles Barkley. He's going Mediterranean. Morning, Dilbert. Morning, Hef. Still working for the man, huh? I like the man. Eh, too bad your fancy college degree doesn't stack up next to my dad's union connections. Rodney, what'd I tell you about the less fortunate? They're a drain on society. And? <sighs> There, but for the grace of God, go us. That's right. <laughs> because they're young, huh? Daryl was such a pill last night. Well, did you try building up his ego? You know, telling him he's strong and handsome and all that BS? I told him I was completely satisfied with the size of our TV. But are you? If it was a little bigger, I wouldn't complain. <laughs> like how much bigger? Like what Carl gave Melinda. That thing was big. Big. Huge. Ginormous. Mm. Well, I'm sure Daryl will snap out of it. He said he had to stop somewhere on the way home, and that usually means flowers. Holy crap! You can have him. Forget you, man. My time's valuable. You grow on sideburns? Duh. Oh, Mr. McPherson, yours is a very storied name. Really? Throughout history, the McPherson clan's skill in the arts has been surpassed only by their savagery in battle. I knew it! Would you like to see your family's coat of arms? Lead the way! Your family's skill in the arts has been surpassed only by their savagery in battle. Who oh, no. knew who indeed, Mr. Gugliamucci? Melinda has a baby. Hi, Melinda. Is Shelby destroying your washing machine? I told him it was okay. Big Daddy's buying me a new one. Big Daddy? That's what Carl wants us to call him now that he's a wheel. Mommy! The man isn't putting my phone in fast enough! I'm sure he's going as fast as he can, Megan. I ordered a princess phone because I am a princess. Does this look like a princess phone? Yay! Uh. Wow, I've never seen Megan act like that before. Yeah, our new fiscal situation has really turned the kids into spoiled brats. Well, believe you me, I'm not going to just stand by and watch. What are you going to do? Hire a nanny. Big Daddy says money's no object. What's that? Daryl, what are you doing? Oh, hey, guess what I learned today? That you're a Catholic schoolgirl? No, that I have a heritage. Something money can't buy. Wait till Carl sees this. He thinks he's something. Daryl! Did any bitterman blood stain the fields in the Battle of Kirkcaldy? I say thee nay. Daryl! You have to stop competing with Carl. Because I've won? Because it's crazy! We have a great life. Nothing Carl does can change that. Hey, McParents. <laughs> Hi, Busy. There's a fresh roll of cookie dough in the fridge if you want it. Oh, wow. That makes what I have to say even harder. Okay, here goes. I can't sit for you guys anymore. What? Why not? Hey, Blondie, you're on the clock. Mm -hmm. I gotta go. Later, po folk. <laughs> This is the song that never ends. It just goes on and on, my friends. Some people started singing it, not knowing my divorce. And they'll continue singing. Busy.
Rosie, how could you leave us for another family? Look, it's not about you, okay? It's about me. What does that mean? I don't know. It's what I say to blow off math geeks. I thought that sounded familiar. What could I do? They offered me so much money. Well, whatever it is, we'll match it. I don't think so. I've been through your bank statements. Hey, Nanny, I feel like playing Batman. Okay, how do you play? You put on this Batgirl outfit and parade around while I watch. <sighs> I'm not gonna do that. I think you will. <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. This ain't right, Big Daddy. We're just paying busy what she's worth. Wanda's gonna hate me. Don't be silly. You think minor league teams hate the guys who move up to the majors? They're happy for them. I know this to be true. I don't know. I got something that'll make you feel better. Muscatel for my lady's pleasure. Oh, you got the big box. I'm sure I got the big box. <laughs> it's burning my gut. Show's over, bub. Hello, Mr. William Summerlin. This is Wanda McPherson, and I'm here to tell you about a wonderful investment opportunity. How's that for good news this morning? Zoe, stop. No, it's not a pyramid scheme, but it will return a wealth to rival that of the legendary pharaohs. Uh, a t-shirt and sweatpants? Why? Oh! Hey, that's my wife you're talking to! Because we lost our babysitter, and I don't make enough money to hire her back. Briefs. I'm sorry, honey. No, I'm sorry. Sorry we have to raise our daughter in a world where no one cares about anything but money. Money can't buy the most important things. It can't buy love or respect. Hey, Dad, when was the last time I thanked you for the fine life you've given us? Last night, when you saw your brand new speedboat. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but, Rodney, it's still mighty nice to hear. I love you, Dad. I love you, son. Hey, busy! Couple of sodas! Chop, chop! Wanda? Hi, Daryl. How's the baby? Tough day? Started out tough, but now it's okay. I found out that if I pulled the TV into the bathroom, I could watch my stories while I'm on the can. Morning, Captain. Huh? Everybody in the pool. Oh, okay. Say, Kenny, I'm curious. What's the most common baseball score? Uh, 5-4, I guess. 5-4. I sure would like to get that square. Morning, Captain. What are you doing? Giving you a second chance. Look, I need the money to hire back my babysitter. My wife's me time is the one little thing she asked for, and I can't even afford to give it to her. You make me sick! This pool is a terrorist institution. Have you no honor, sir? Has all decency fled you? Yeah, Kenny, the topless dollhouse called. They found your wallet. Anything left in it? Just pictures of your family. Tell them to toss it. Nine... Nine. Figures. Hello? Yeah, Daryl. It's Carl. What can I do for you, Carl? Uh, for some reason, it seems like there's been a little tension between us lately. You stole our babysitter. Well, whatever the cause, I'd like to smooth things over by uh, taking you and your family to the game tonight. I don't know, Carl. They're playing the Yankees. Well, I guess Juana could use a night out. <laughs> I bet she could. Taking care of a kid by yourself is murder. It's a beautiful night for baseball, folks. There's a young fan down there cheering on one of his heroes. That's what this great game is all about. Hey, lard ass, you stink! Yeah, you stink! <laughs> Rodney, pick that up and say you're sorry. Why don't you pick it up and say it's good to be employed? Hi. <sighs> so... Pretty good seats, huh? Not bad. Not bad. You can see right into the dugout. That's perfectly natural, dear. Someday girls will make you feel that way. 
So, Wanda, I hope you're not mad at me. It, it's okay. We're doing fine. Zoe, you can't go to busy. It's been a long night for the home crowd, folks. The mighty Yankees have taken this team to the woodshed. As we head to the ninth, the Bronx Bombers lead 12 to nothing. Hey, Dad, could I have some nachos? Sure, son. Off you go, baby doll. Rotten little... You want anything, Mrs. Mack? My old life back? Mm, I can't give you that. Okay. One of those big foam hands. Yeah, I think we're gonna hit the road, Carl. Well, you can't leave yet. Why not? Big Daddy's got a little surprise planned. So this groundskeeping thing must pay pretty well. Not bad. But just between us, the real money isn't cutting grass, it's cutting corners. What do you mean? You know, you bill for a premium sprinkler head, you install a cheap sprinkler head. The water don't talk, you pocket the difference. <sighs> I guess that's how the world works. Damn straight. Here we are. Wow, you get to go in the dugout? Sure. Hiya, fellas. Hey, Carl. Hey, what's up, Big what Daddy? What is this, Big Daddy? Hey, Carl, your wife's on a jumper try. Now there's a couple of ladies hanging on to the end of this lopsided contest. You know, friends, one of the great things about baseball is that it brings together so many different kinds of people. The proud and the humble, the elegant and the downtrodden, socialites and bag ladies, all welcome beneath the umbrella of our national game. I'm out of here, Carl. I've got to tell you, fans, this game was a laugher before the Yankees scored seven in the top of the ninth. I'm halfway there. Hey, what are you guys doing sitting there like you've already lost? There's one out to go, and we're down 19 runs. So you're just going to quit? Come on, man. It's the Yankees. Their payroll's three times bigger than ours. Oh, so it's all about money. Well, yeah. Now you listen to me. The measure of a man isn't the size of his paycheck. It's what he's got inside. My daughter Zoe is in the stands tonight. It's her first baseball game. What message are you going to send to her and the dozens of other fans still here and the thousands more listening on their car radios who bolted in the seventh inning? That you rolled over and died or that you kept fighting? ¿Qué está diciendo? No sé, pero habla con gran pasión. Now get out there and do it for yourselves for the honor of the game, and above all, for that little girl. Get out there and do it for Zoe! Ah! For Zoe! For, for Zoe! witnessing something remarkable here, folks. An eight-run scoring explosion with two gone in the final stanza. Runner on third, Jimenez steps to the dish. Come on, come on, one more run. Para Zoe. It's a line drive to the gap. This one's gonna roll all the way to the wall. Cullinane trots home with the ninth run of the inning. Hey, he's going for inside the park homer. What? No! Para Zoe. Para Zoe. Para Zoe. Para Zoe. Stop! Stop! Nine runs is enough! But what about Zoe? She's six months old. You think she's going to remember any of this? You're down ten runs to the Yankees, for God's sake. You're making fools of yourselves. Stop! Jimenez rockets around third. It looks like he's going to make it. Please, please, please don't score. <gasps> Out. And Jimenez is done in by a malfunctioning sprinkler head. Uh-oh. What a turn of events. I'd venture to say we've just witnessed not only the end of the game, but the end of Carl Bitterman's tenure as a major league groundskeeper. I won! Wanda, I won the baseball pool! <gasps> Did you hear that, Zoe? Daddy won! Daryl!
and I've got money!